Hey there, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will discuss whether we will be getting an admit or not if we have a low GPA. And do we have a scope to do masters in the US if we have low marks? Universities will be following an holistic approach in the application selection process. It means they not only finalize our application based on our marks and GPA, but also consider extracurricular activities, internships, work experience, etc. If you ask me, is GPA not necessary? Of course it is important. But it is not only the GPA that is important. Universities will be seeing your subjects, marks, grades, and bachelor's performance to evaluate whether you can complete the degree or not. So if you are still in your bachelor's, try to concentrate and get some good grades. If you are thinking a single piece of paper cannot decide my future, then your assumption might be a bit wrong if you are thinking of pursuing masters abroad. If you have good scores in your degree, the admission committee would be getting a good impression when they see your scores. They will understand that you do have some knowledge. But if your bachelor's is already done and you are graduated, we can't do a thing to update our scores. Now one thing we can do is to improve our profile in other aspects. First one being non-GPA centric universities. You can consider GPA centric universities as dream universities but not the safe or mediocre ones. These GPA centric university mean some universities will be putting some restrictions on admission considering a minimum GPA. So firstly we have to check if there is any eligibility criteria or not. If we apply for such GPA centric universities it would be a bit difficult for us to get admitted even if our remaining profile is good. For example the University of Texas at Dallas. The computer science course at this university is GPA centric. My profile and my friends profile are almost same, my GPA is 7.48 out of 10 and my friends was 8.9 out of 10. My GRE scores and IEL scores are even better than my friend. And still I did not got my admit but my friend did. The same was the case with Arizona State University. Next GRE test scores. Here I am talking about GRE at centers. Nowadays most of the students are using GRE fake and scam marks to go to the US for masters. So some universities are not at all accepting this GRE at home scores. They are only accepting your scores if you have written GRE at center. Even if the university you want to apply to is waving of GRE, writing GRE would be highly beneficial for you. If you don't write the GRE test, you are removing one criteria of profile evaluation from your profile on your own. But if we do submit our GRE scores, they will be considering that as well for our profile evaluation. Next, English test scores. I suggest you to write IELTS for the English proficiency test. Now we can write Duolingo and TOEFL at home. But writing IELTS at the center will be providing you with some credibility on your profile. If you don't write GRE and write other tests at home, then they are only left with our GPA for profile evaluation. In this case, as our GPA is less, it would be a bit difficult for us to get admitted to any college. So I suggest you to take GRE and IELTS at center. Now that you have given your test, it is time to improve our real world knowledge. And for that we have projects. If you do any projects related to your course, you will be having a high chance of getting admitted to that university. At least try to do one project. I say try to do as many projects as you can. It would be surely beneficial for your profile. Next research papers. Doing some research work related to your master's course will be again beneficial for your profile. If you are still in your bachelor's, you can take the help of your professors to publish your research papers. I'll also be making a video on research papers. I'll be updating the link in the i button and the description once I upload the video. Do check it out if you are interested. Try to publish at least one research paper. Of course, the more the merrier. Next, internships. If you have a low GPA, then doing internships and having some real world corporate experience will be boosting your profile. And then work experience. If your GPA is really low, job work experience will be very useful to you. When you have some work experience, even if your GPA is low, they will be considering your experience as you have some knowledge. Then statement of purpose. Here you should be showing your power. SOP is a totally different important document. This should be the most convincing thing in the world. It should be stating that you have the caliber to do that course. I have already made a video on how to make a perfect SOP. I'll be putting a link of that video in the i button and the description. Do check it out if you are interested. Finally comes the letter of recommendation. Try to bring LORs from some reputed and experienced professors. If reputed recommenders support your profile, for the admission committee it will be putting out a positive impact at the time of of evaluation. Try including some context saying it is not correct to evaluate and reject your profile solely depending on your GPA. Also as I mentioned in the previous video, each university has its own scale to consider GPA. For example, a 9 score GPA from your college may not be equal to 9 from another. If you ask me which universities will accept our applications if we have low GPA, obviously there is a very low chance of getting into the universities ranked 100 to 200. So we should compromise and choose a bit low ranked universities. Of course, don't go for a Bakwas university. I have also made a video on how to check whether a university is good or not. I'll provide that video link as well in the i button in the description. Do check it out if you are interested. Now you can go to Yoket and check if the people who went to that universities have a similar profile to you. You will get an idea whether you will be getting an admit to that university or not. Check for what universities they have applied to and whether they got an admit. If you improve and try, you will definitely get into a good university. Alright, that's it from me for now. Until then, Hakuna Matata and yeah, bye.